Hello everyone, this video is the third and final part of my weapons overview guide for newbies, so if you haven't seen parts 1 and 2, the links are in the description. This video will cover the weapons in the red and gold chests, so without further ado, let's get right into it. The Peacemaker can be found in the red chest in Shootout and Elimination, and costs $50 in Brick Bad and Team Play. It's a 6 shot all rounder revolver, very similar to the Colt Navy, but a little bit better in just about every way. It's slightly heavier and doesn't give as many points per kill, but it has better damage and better accuracy. A headshot will kill an opponent at close to medium range, and so will two body shots, but at longer range it'll take three. Like the Navy, it can be fanned with the right mouse button, which will take three shots instead of two to kill, but can be a very good option if you need to panic spray or take down multiple opponents. The Peacemaker is a very versatile gun, but it dominates in any close or medium range situation. The Yellow Boy can be found in the Red Chest in Shootout and Elimination, and it costs $60 in Break Bad and Team Play. The Yellow Boy is a repeating rifle with 17 shots, and it works more or less the same as the Carbine. Hold right mouse button to look down the sights and left to fire. It's also extremely accurate, but it will only guarantee an instant kill with very close range headshots because the damage falloff makes it go under 100 very quickly. However, two body shots will usually kill an opponent at close to medium range, and the Yellow Boil is overall a very reliable gun for dealing consistent damage at medium to long range. Since there's 17 shots, it takes a lot of fighting before you need to reload, but when you do, it takes a very long time, so be careful and make sure you have somewhere safe to reload. The machete can be found in the red chest in shootout and elimination, and it costs $85 in break bad and team play. The machete is basically a better version of the hatchet, it'll kill in two body shots or headshots, and you can throw it as well, which will be an instant kill if you can manage to land a headshot. Again, be very careful with throwing it, because your enemies can pick it up and use it against you. Like the hatchet, the machete has the highest movement speed in the game, and dominates at close range, but be sure not to be caught out in open space, or you'll have no easy way to fight back. For the record, the machete actually has slightly longer reach than the hatchet, but it's not very easy to notice in-game. Black Dynamite can be found in the red chest in Shooter and Elimination, and it costs $125 in Break Bad. In team play, it can only be purchased on some maps, where it's usually $250. Unlike the red Dynamite, you get 4 sticks when you take Black Dynamite, and there's a lot of differences that make it overall much more useful than the red Dynamite. First of all, the explosion radius is bigger and does more damage, and it will also drop onto the ground with your corpse if you die while it's lit, giving you a chance to kill an opponent after you die. You can safely switch to another weapon while it's cooking, unlike the red dynamite which will drop to your feet lit if you try to switch to another weapon after cooking it for too long. And finally, black dynamite has an alternate fire mode which you can use with the right mouse button. It takes less time to light, and you drop it down by your feet instead of throwing it. Alternatively, you can crouch when you release the alt fire and it will roll across the ground. The pump shotgun can be found in the gold chest in shootout and elimination, and it costs $95 in break bad and team play. It's a bit lighter than the coach gun, and it has 6 shots which reload individually. It's usable at close range while moving, but at medium range you should always slow down to fire it so that you get a tight spread. Two well placed shots will kill an opponent at close to medium range, and you move quite fast when using the pump shotgun, letting you play very aggressively at close range and rack up heaps of frags. The reload time is very short too, but be sure not to engage at long range unless you have a backup weapon that can handle it. Like the coach gun, the pump shotgun cannot get headshots. The Walker can be found in the gold chest in Shootout and Elimination, and it costs $125 in Break Bad and Team Play. It's a heavy, powerful revolver with a very slow fire rate and reload time, but it will kill in one body shot at close to medium range. It's quite inaccurate, so it's not realistic to fight with it at long range, but if you can find the time to reload, you can wreak havoc on servers with this in close quarters. Unlike the other revolvers, you can't actually fan the hammer with the Walker, so you need to slow down and carefully aim every shot. Since the fire rate is so low, a miss can be fatal, but so long as you land the shots, the walker becomes one of the most powerful weapons in the game. The sharps rifle can be found in the gold chest in shootout and elimination, and it costs $115 in break bad. It's only available in some team play maps, but it's always extremely expensive if it's available. The sharps is the only scoped weapon in the game, which you can use with the right mouse button. The scope kind of leans behind where you're aiming, so it can be hard to get used to, but the sharps is very powerful because it guarantees an instant kill with a body shot or a headshot at any range. It's a very heavy weapon, and it only has one shot that takes a long time to reload, so be sure to have somewhere safe to reload or at least a backup weapon to keep yourself alive if you get a date while reloading. 
The dynamite belt can be found in the gold chest in shootout and elimination and it isn't available at all in break battle team play. It's a unique weapon and that is the only one that players can see when you don't have it equipped which means that people will probably target you if you have one just because you look different. It doesn't have all the fancy alternate throw modes like the black dynamite and it doesn't even do as much damage as red dynamite but it has infinite sticks that explode briefly after touching any surface or player. It's best used on players that aren't aware of your presence as you can knock them around and probably disarm them before hitting them with a different weapon or another stick to finish them off. As a head-on weapon it's actually very bad but it works well in a kind of utility sort of way. The other perk to the gold dynamite is that it only deals a fraction of its normal damage to the user so you can freely use it at close range without fear of blowing yourself up and you can even use the blast to propel yourself through the air to reach higher places or cover a lot of ground at once. And so that wraps up my overview of the weapons in Fistful of Frags, I hope it helps you learn the basics of the weapons and what they're good for, and sometimes in the future I'll do individual videos on each weapon for advanced players as well. Don't take this series as a comprehensive guide on all the weapons, there's a lot of finer details to go over, but this is just intended to get new players to grips with what's available in the game. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the series, and subscribe if you want to see more tutorial content in the future. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.